head over to the left hand side. So basically, in this level, this is another survive and keep particle count below a certain number level. Basically what's going to happen is a bunch of anti-neutrons are going to keep spawning over here and you have to use a spawn down quark and up quark that should be an up quark spawner to make enough particles to destroy these. So again, it's a bit of deja vu. We do have to make stuff and pull it over. And because they're neutrons, they are annoying to annihilate because they have no charge. Okay, so this level is actually fairly fiddly as well. Basically, we have to get an electron into this center, and standing between us and that is a are these four kind of cages containing an electron. Oh, and the fact and and the fact that that should be an electron spawner. The fact that electrons are negative and you're not going to pull them. So basically, what I have to do is spawn a bunch of that should be up quarks and first of all neutralize these charges and then take some more up quarks and then uh, grab the electron and hopefully pull the electron in without getting interfered with by all of these um, all these charges so it just so just in my experience it just so turns out that the best that the optimal position is for every electron in the cage, you have two up quarks. That's just my experience. It makes them slightly positive. So, because I'm going to be using up quarks to actually pull the, oops, pull the electron, I actually form a hydrogen at a hydrogen one atom. Um, the slightly positive charge will keep the up quarks from just grabbing onto those cages. So I just have to grab, put that last up quark on the cage. Now I'm going to grab it. Now, in order to make the hydrogen, I can't just grab two up quarks and a down quark to make a proton, then the electron, because I'm already positive and the. Um, whoops. Okay. That was not expected. Oh, I have to break this up. I have to. Well, what should have happened is that I should have, first of all, grabbed the up quark, then the electron, then I should have grabbed another up quark, so we're now net neutral, like so, but I need another up quark now because of the slightly charge. Or I can just take my chances and try and pull it like so. No, it doesn't work. And for some reason, it likes to form a line rather than a nice clump. And it's also annoying that that circle in the middle is super small. So I do have to use very fine controls over here and not get pulled. Uh, no, I do have to spawn another up quark after all. And stick it on that cage. And I should grab... Uh, whoops, I spawned too many... Uh, it shouldn't have too much of an effect. If you do spawn too many, you just can restart the level. Now, what the heck is going on? Okay, don't get too close, because 
Ugh. Darn it. I guess to redo it again. If you're lucky, you can get it first time. If this is not my day. Ugh. Okay. And just. Mm, oh, okay. Hopefully, the electron stays in there just long enough to pass the level. Like so. Okay. So this is another one of those kind of firing squad levels. Basically you are the only down quark in here and a bunch of uh, down quarks, anti-down quarks are going to be coming at you. So pretty much what you have to do is, and judging by the numbers there's way too many uh, anti-down quarks to annihilate them all. So basically what I'm going to do is, first of all I'm going to spawn the down quark and because I can repel the down quark from my current position, I can kind of direct the spawn down quark direction so I'm going to use that and I set it in this gen in one of these ones particles general direction and I'm going and because when it annihilates it creates an explosion those explosions generally keep the antiparticles away from me well will they repel will they blow it blow it away rather than towards me and then some more are going to be spawning as well which and you'll see them as they come okay Note that the cage is quite big, so even if you, even if there are down quarks moving towards you like that, you do have a fair bit of room to maneuver yourself to dodge the anti-down quarks. So now there's the second wave is coming, and the hard bit is trying to stay inside that spawner long enough that they can actually. spawn. Yeah, and just be careful with, um, just be aware of the surroundings, just don't get tunnel visioned and accidentally have a an anti-down quark creep up on you. And also note that if you do somehow, if you do miss with one of your uh, down quarks, it might come back to bite you. Alright, so Yeah, so I, I, the reason I, why I skipped the cutscene was because it didn't have a final message. This is actually the next chapter, but that is the end of chapter 4, and I will see you in the next episode.